I just made it to Athens. The bus ride from the airport was long and filled with traffic, but after a short two-hour flight south, the brilliant sunshine made me wonder if I'd stepped into a different season. I checked into the Airbnb, took care of a few little things, and then headed out. It was pretty hard to find a Korean supermarket in downtown Athens, and there seemed to be only one Korean restaurant. Thankfully, my Airbnb was just around the corner from that one restaurant. I found a Chinese supermarket that stocked some Korean products. The unexpected challenge of finding Korean food made me wonder if I could really stay in Athens for long. My first impression of Athens is how lively it is. The streets were packed with people totally putting winter to shame. After dinner, I was so caught up in the energy of Athens that I ended up buying a bottle of wine. The shop owner asked if it was my first time in Athens and told me it was a great city but to be careful of pickpockets. The alley that was buzzing with Saturday night excitement became calm and quiet by Sunday morning. Waking up to something totally new on the first morning in a new city is one of the things I love most about traveling. This time, the most important thing about choosing an Airbnb was making sure it was close to Syntagma Square right in the center of Athens. It's said that in Athens, ruins are everywhere you look, even right at the entrance to the subway. I was specifically warned about pickpockets at subway stations, so I kept an eye out and got a 5-day ticket. In front of the parliament building, at set times, they have a changing of the guard ceremony, and I was lucky enough to catch the bigger one they do on Sunday mornings. When you're traveling long term, accommodation can get expensive, so I usually go for Airbnbs instead of hotels. But in Athens, there was one hotel I really wanted to stay at. I didn't get to stay there, but I happened to pass by it.
There were so many churches, it felt like there was one around every corner. It was hard to go into the other churches because they were all having mass but this one in the middle of the city felt easier to walk into probably because of all the hustle and bustle around it. Even with all the hustle outside, the inside of the church was surprisingly quiet. As I visited the churches one after another, I was so filled with the Holy Spirit that I decided to take a rest in the park because I thought I couldn't keep doing this. This park would be perfect for cooling off in the shade during summer and on a sunny winter day like today in Athens, where the winter isn't too cold, it's a great spot to visit. My mom suggested this neighborhood called Kipseli, so I headed there for lunch. I heard about Greece's economic struggles, but I didn't really notice it. Maybe because I was in Athens, the capital? I'm not sure if it's related, but the buses did seem pretty spaced out, running only about once an hour. The neighborhood named Kipseli is said to come from the word for parsley, which grows abundantly in the area. For lunch, I also checked out a spot recommended by Time Out. As I got away from the busy tourist areas and into the residential areas of Athens, English became less common, but the prices were much lower and the people seemed friendlier. I was also recommended a beer at this restaurant that I know I'll be enjoying throughout my time in Athens.
Watching the residents of Cape Sally peacefully enjoying their Sunday afternoon, I thought this would be a great place to stay if I ever spent a long time in Athens. I planned to start sightseeing in earnest tomorrow, but I couldn't resist and ended up wandering around the tourist spots today. Plaka was full of cute little alleys and winding streets that wrapped around the slopes of the Acropolis. I haven't been to Santorini yet, but I found myself wondering if the alleys there are like this. All the ruins around Athens made me feel like I would step back in time to ancient days, like I was in a time machine. After wandering around all day, I started craving something sweet. I went to try Lukuma Days, the famous Greek donor dessert in Athens. <laughs> <laughs> 